Hey guys, we're gonna tackle a problem that we see a lot. It says find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of this function at the point indicated and then write the equation of that tangent line at that point. Okay, so without going too much into the background of calculus, it is important to note that when you learned how to do the slope of a line, okay, in algebra one, even in eighth grade, okay, you took two points, you had A, you had B, okay, and this was, so this is the point A, F of A, so basically A, whatever you get when you put A in, B, F of B, okay? And you simply said, well, I just want the change in Y, okay? Slope was the change in Y over the change in X. And it didn't matter what two points you chose because the definition of a linear equation or a linear function said that it had a constant rate of change. Okay, well, we get to calculus and calculus is really the math of motion. So when we say we want the slope, we don't say we want the slope of a curve. If we have a point here, and we have a point here, and we have another point here, if we look up at these points, how fast or how slowly the graph is changing, the curve is changing, is really different every single point on this curve. Okay, it's almost zero here. It's increasing very slowly here. It's increasing faster here, faster here. So when we're talking about the slope of a curve, we call it the derivative. So the derivative is the slope of a curve, okay? It's how fast it's moving. You're gonna hear rate of change for this, and you are going to hear instantaneous velocity. If they say to you, instantaneous, what is the instantaneous velocity? It means it wants the slope of a curve at a certain point. And that's important to note. Derivative is a slope of a curve. So it's, what do we know about a slope of a curve? It's changing. Okay? So if you want the slope, it wants to know where. Where do you want to know how fast it's changing at? So when you get a derivative, you get a function. You get some f prime of x equals something in terms of x. So you have to plug in and find that, okay? And these little lines I draw, these are sometimes called tangent lines used to estimate the slope or how fast it's changing or the derivative. We really don't use slope anymore in calculus, but I just want you to keep taking it back to something you already understand. So these are my little tangent lines. Okay, and we, we talked about in previous videos how you don't really know how to write the equation from one point, so you use two points and you let the, the difference between these approach zero and you find it as a limit, but we, we're past that in this problem. And so we wanna, we wanna know if uh, at the point zero, so let's say this was it, zero, we wanna know what's the equation of the tangent line that passes through that graph and what's the slope of that tangent line. Okay, so let's get started on this problem. It's a little history that does not relate to this problem, but actually it relates to all of these problems. Okay, so here's what we had. We have, find the slope of the tangent line to this function at this point, and then write the equation of that tangent line. Well, all right, let's do that. So my equation is, and let me do it in a purple or something easier to see, f of x equals x cubed plus 3x minus 1, and we want it at 0, negative 1. Remember, derivative is a slope that's always changing, so we need to know where do you want this. So we want the slope of the tangent line. But we want it, and it's really important, at x equals 0. Okay, well, slope means derivative. So let's take the derivative. Okay, so the, and I don't know what, if you use dy dx or f prime of x, okay, we're going to use our power rule. Remember the power rule says, if you have polynomial function, you take this exponent, bring it down, and you multiply it by anything that's already there. Well, nothing's there. So 3 times 1 is just 3 times x, and then you lower the exponent by 1. Okay, so 3x squared plus this is really a one, one times three is three, lower that, x to the zero is simply one. So this is our derivative, but we want the derivative at x equals zero. So we need to find f prime of zero, and that is three times zero squared plus three. 
which is going to be 3 times 0 squared is 0, so 0 plus 3. So f prime, or the derivative at 0, is 3. That means the slope of my tangent line is 3. Okay, what else did it ask for? If you bring back the equation, or the problem, it asked for the slope of the tangent line, and it asked for the equation of the tangent line at that point. All right, so what do you need for an equation? For an equation, you need two things. You need a slope, already have it, and a point. Guess what? We already have that too. We want this all at the point 0, negative 1. So m equals 3, and my xy is 0, negative 1. You'll notice they're probably going to put this in slope, point-slope form. Okay, point slope form is not, not difficult, it's just an odd one. It takes the slope formula, so m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x, and it multiplies both sides by x2 minus x1 and basically clears the denominator. Oops, not 1, x1. Okay, so if it clears that, then you're left with this y2 minus y1 equals m x2 minus x1. That's where this whole point slope comes from. So point slope, we have y2 minus y1 equals m x2 minus x1. Sometimes I put the ones on my x and y, sometimes I don't. Sorry about that. So let's plug in what we've got. What do we know? We know that this is negative 1. We know this is 3. We know this is 0. So we get y minus a negative 1 is really plus 1 equals 3x minus 0. All right, let's keep going. y plus 1 equals 3x. 3 times 0 is 0. No need to keep it. Subtract 1, subtract 1. y equals 3x minus 1. That is the equation of the tangent line at 0, negative 1. That is the slope at 0, negative 1. Remember, this is a curve, so the slope is going to be different. You're going to have a bunch of little tangent lines all over this curve. The slope will be different at each point, okay? I hope that helped. I know this is a really popular question right after you learn derivatives, sometimes right before you learn derivatives or before you learn the rules, but this is going to be something you'll see coming back and back again. It'll show up on your final. It'll show up on your tests. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, when you send your problem, I'll do it too.